O mortal who complainest of death and fate, accuse none of the harms thyself hast called. This troubled world thou hast chosen for thy home, thou art thyself the author of thy pain. Once in the immortal boundlessness of self, in a vast of truth and consciousness and light, the soul looked out from its felicity. It felt the spirit's interminable bliss. It knew itself deathless, timeless, spaceless, one. It saw the eternal, lived in the infinite. Then, curious of a shadow thrown by truth, it strained towards some otherness of self. It was drawn to an unknown face peering through night. It sensed a negative infinity, a void supernal whose immense excess, imitating God and everlasting time, offered a ground for nature's adverse birth and matter's rigid hard unconsciousness, harboring the brilliance of a transient soul that lights up birth and death and ignorant life. A mind arose that stared at nothingness, till figures formed of what could never be. It housed the contrary of all that is. A knot appeared as being's huge sealed cause, its dumb support in a blank infinite, in whose abysm spirit must disappear. A darkened nature lived and held the seed of spirit hidden and feigning not to be. Eternal consciousness became a freak of an unsold almighty inconscient, and breathed no more as spirit's native air. Bliss was an incident of a mortal hour, a stranger in the insentient universe. As one drawn by the grandeur of the void, the soul attracted lean to the abyss. It longed for the adventure of ignorance and the marvel and surprise of the unknown and the endless possibility that lurked in the womb of chaos and in nothing's gulf or looked from the unfathomed eyes of chance. It tired of its unchanging happiness. It turned away from immortality. It was drawn to hazard's call and danger's charm. It yearned to the pathos of grief, the drama of pain, perdition's peril, the wounded bear escape, the music of ruin and its glamour and crash, the savor of pity and the gamble of love and passion and the ambiguous face of fate. A world of hard endeavor and difficult toil and battle on extinction's perilous verge, a clash of forces, a vast incertitude, the joy of creation out of nothingness, strange meetings on the roads of ignorance, and the companionship of half-known souls, or the solitary greatness and lonely force of a separate being conquering its world, called it from its too safe eternity, a huge descent began, a giant fall. For what the spirit sees creates a truth, and what the soul imagines is made a world. A thought that leaped from the timeless can become indicator of cosmic consequence and the itinerary of the gods a cyclic movement in eternal time. Thus came, born from a blind, tremendous choice, this great, perplexed, and discontented world, this haunt of ignorance, this home of pain. There are pitch desires tense, grief's headquarters, a vast disguise conceals the eternal's bliss.